What it is, what it do, cyber world. It is your girl, the one and only, Ash Brown, and this is the Ash Said It Show. Over 2,000 episodes since 2014, self-produced, you guys. None of this is possible without you guys. Thank you so much for the shares, the cares, me in and out of different countries. It's been amazing. It's been a phenomenal time, and the best is yet to come. Today, we've got a phenomenal Chile expert, the wonderful Marshall Burke. Hey, Marshall. <laughs> hey, how's it going? It's going pretty great. How are you today? I'm doing great. We're getting really close to chili harvest here, so staying busy. I know. All right. So a lot of people are so, you know, we're in the month of August, and people are just so excited about chili season. So let's talk a little bit about the growing process. What is the perfect condition for one to grow chilies? Well, down in Mexico, that's where I'm at and where our our processing facility is. We grow some of the best uh, chili peppers in the world. Definitely Mm. uh, the the roasted green chili that everyone is (laughs) growing in popularity. Everyone, uh, that's that's what we're known for down here. It's really about uh, the... The warm, the, the long growing season, mm-hmm. warm days and cool nights. We've got mm-hmm. some high elevation here. Mm-hmm. And then we also, um, I, I really have to give our farmers, we've got six generation farmers growing mm-hmm. chili down here. And so the knowledge passed down is also what what makes our, our chili premium over everyone else. Yeah. Oh, wow. But what makes an authentic chile? Like, what is the what are the specifications for authentic versus unauthentic? Well, it depends on who you ask. But if you if you ask someone from the southwest, they'll say that 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 authentic New Mexico chile is New mm-hmm. Mexico grown, so grown by New Mexico farmers, and then mm-hmm. flame roasted is also really uh, it's a big tradition and it's the flavor that you get out of flame roasting is really exceptional and so mm. i think flame roasting and authenticity go hand in hand when it comes to chilies okay cool beans now you are basically over two chile brands uh los roast uh los roast and santa fiale fiale i'm sorry if i'm destroying it <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so those are the, the, yeah. the two brands. Uh, now, what are for the first one, what are the ties to Portland? Um, so I started, I grew up in New Mexico and then went up to Portland, Oregon for college. Oh. Um, and when I went up there, I was hit with the, the stark contrast is that there's no authentic chili. Uh, it barely makes it out of the Southwest. It barely makes mm. it out of the state. But when you grow up in New Mexico, you're like, you assume that it's everywhere. And so <laughs> finding that there's no chili in Portland, I was like, I, we got to change this. I got to get some chili up here. So <laughs> I started my company, Los Roast, up in Portland. Uh, we started just bringing chili up seasonally, roasting it during the season. And uh, from there, we actually um, we uh, started jarring roasted chilies mm. and worked with uh, a, another company, Santa Fe Ole, to get those products out. Mm-hmm. And over the last decade, we've been working together on, on different projects, different processes. We we got together uh, four years ago to build this new facility in Deming mm-hmm. where we're buying all of our chili directly from the farm and doing all of the flame roasting, peeling, chopping, and getting it into a shelf-stable form uh, right away. So mm-hmm. from the field to the to the jar in less than 24 hours is pretty awesome. That is pretty awesome. Kudos to you and your team. That's a lot of work. <laughs> yeah, That's it's a been lot. a big, it's been a big, uh, a lot of, big challenges along the way but it's it's really awesome to be in this position where we're able to to really control every aspect of our of our process make sure we're buying the, the highest quality chilies from the best farmers and we were able to, to make some custom equipment that I, I feel we've got uh, really nailed down the process and are providing a really high quality product yeah 
Wow. So for the two brands, what would you say are some of the most popular products, the stuff that you guys are trying so hard to keep on shelves? Yeah, so both of the brands have uh, roasted, peeled, and chopped green chili, Mm. different heat levels. We've got mild, medium, and hot, and that is the the popular, the big seller. Everyone in the country is is (laughs) trying to get roasted green chili, especially out of season since it's such a seasonal thing. Um, But we also do um, uh, sun-dried red chili sauces Mm. and purees. We have uh, uh, we actually have our farmers grow red jalapenos for us, and we have a, a smoker at our facility. We have house smoked New Mexico grown chipotle and adobo sauce. So we definitely salsas. Uh, we we go all over the place. Yeah. But yeah, the roasted green chili, everyone is obsessed. Gotcha. Now, is there a process for you all to come up with new products, or how does that how does that go? Like you and your team, you guys get together at a certain point uh, in the year. Yeah, we. I mean, when it comes to new products, we really like to look at what is like traditionally what what's popular, what's mm-hmm. traditional to New Mexico cuisine, mm-hmm. what, and then what is something that's that's not out there yet. Um, mm. And so it is like it's keeping in line with traditions, yeah. but also um, developing that, especially into shelf stable form. Um, once it's with a lot of chili, this process in the state is is uh, the final product's frozen, yeah. and shipping and moving and selling and dealing with frozen chili can be hard and mm-hmm. hard to get it out of state for that reason. So. By making everything shelf stable, everything's all natural. All we use is lime juice as a preservative. But oh, wow. by making shelf stable products, we're able to get the chili farther out into the country. I love the fact that you guys only like you know what's in your product. This is not like a whole laundry list of things that we can't pronounce <laughs> or we don't recognize. Yeah, so no. I love that. The, the biggest, I think, we've got. 10 ingredients in our in our salsa for example and it's like mm-hmm. it's tomatoes it's chipotle right. it's, it's green chili lime juice garlic salt we're really yeah it's it's about bringing capturing the flavor and bringing it uh bringing it out into the country yeah i mean you're actually including real foods <laughs> this is not food byproducts mm-hmm. these are actual these are the actual foods you know uh brought into the brought into the recipes. I love that. All right. So Marshall, for people that are listening that maybe they're not familiar with, with cooking with chilies and they have absolutely no idea where to begin, but they heard about your brand. They want to try you guys out. What are some fun recipes or, or what, what comes to mind when I say an easy, just straightforward recipe dealing with your chili products? Totally. Yeah, the nice part about the jarred chilies is that they're just ready to go. You open the mm. jar, you can pour them on your burrito, you can dab, dab, drizzle them on your nachos. Yes. You can, the, the right out of the jar is really nice. Mm-hmm. And then you can always take that and add a little bit more, make an enchilada sauce, make Ooh, a stew. Uh, a we go, like in New Mexico, we go from traditional to red and green smothered chicken enchiladas mm. and um, soap of stuff, soap of pias. Uh, and then we also, we, we're obsessed with green chili, so we put on everything. It's on burgers, it's on pizza, mm. I mean, sushi with chili in it. It's, <laughs> it's everywhere in the state. Uh, Marshall, you're making me really hungry right now. Um, I need a <laughs> jar or two of some of this chili, all right? Now, where do people need to go, Marshall, to get their hands on some of these chili products? We're um, Nationwide, we, we're growing uh, in more and more stores. You can always find us on our website, losroast.com and com. We've got all of our products on there, but... Um, Los Rose, since I started in Portland, mm-hmm. it's pretty much a West Coast brand, mm-hmm. and we're in grocery stores throughout Oregon, Washington, making some uh, new stores in California, okay. uh, Utah, Arizona, all of that. And then Santa Fe LA has been in New Mexico forever, mm-hmm. the Southwest, Arizona, Texas, and then 
It's also uh, the brand that we send to the East Coast more often. So mm-hmm. we're in stores throughout Virginia and New York, Northeast. Mm-hmm. I'm going to a show in uh, Florida in a couple of weeks. So hopefully okay. we'll, we'll see us there. <laughs> that sounds like a plan, Marshall. I mean, I'm holding down Atlanta, so you guys have to, you know, slowly but surely make nice. your way out here. So we're I making can... it. We're making it. I think there's a few stories. I'll have, I, I should have looked that up. Okay. Time, I think there's a few stories in Atlanta. Hey, babes. Awesome. Well, Marshall, thank you so much for coming on today and chatting with us, sharing about Chile. Oh, I appreciate the opportunity. <laughs> yes, indeed. Definitely. I hope you guys all enjoy. From mild to extra hot, we got it all. Come, come it. check it out. And <laughs> let everyone know about um, the websites, where to get the products. Yeah, so the two brands are Los Roast and Santa Fe Ole, like the, like the, like the chips. city or the <laughs> capital of New Mexico, <laughs> santafeole.com. Oh, I love it. And I appreciate each and every one of you guys. Thank you so much for your love and support. Keeping in mind, anyone to tell you that you can't do what you want to do, you look them square in the face, you tell them, don't believe me, just watch. Watch what I do, watch me make it happen, watch me make history. That's what we're doing this for, the history books. Social media is nice, but real life is so much better. Until next time, you guys.